Hey everyone, Doodle Pops for the win here, and today I'm going to do a read aloud and book review on the Little Act Science book, Christmas Wish. So yeah, and I know it's not the holidays right now, but uh, I was just bored, so I decided to do a review on this anyway. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started now, shall we? So yeah, Little Act Science Christmas Wish, written by Marcy Kellen, illustrated by Anna Okab. Okay, it was Christmas Eve, and Leo was reading his favorite Christmas story to Quincy, June, Annie, and Rocket. Just as Leo started to read from the last page of his storybook, the team heard a loud jingle jingle coming from the other room. Ooh, I wonder who or what made that jingle jingle sound. <laughs> Oh my! Annie shouted. Annie shouted with glee. Could it be Santa? The team ran to the next room to find four beautifully wrapped gifts beneath their Christmas tree. Santa gave the team wish boxes. Look closely at the gift tags. Did Santa forget to bring wish box for one of the little Einsteins? <laughs> well, there are four wish boxes. Now let's count the team. Let's count the team members. So yeah, there's one, two, three, four kids plus one rocket ship. That makes five team members. But y'all know five is more than four. So maybe so it looks like Santa forgot to get one for get get give. So Santa must have forgotten a wish box for one the team members. I wonder who it is. Let's read and find out. I cannot believe it! Shouted Quincy. Annie's been good all year. Where's her wish box? I'm sure your gift just fell off Santa's sleigh. June said, comforting Annie. Really? Annie brightened. Absolutely! Said Leo. And now it's our mission to find it. Sorry, I thought I skipped the page. So yeah. Rocket came up with a brilliant way to help the team find Annie's wish box. He used his own wish box to find uh, his he used his own wish box to wish for a brand new gadget. A wish finder. Way to go, Rocket. Look at the wish finder. Do you think Annie's wish box is in New York City? Australia? The Himalaya Mountains? Or Paris? Hmm. Make sure you pay attention to the arrow, to the arrow. Make sure it's close to the wish box. Hmm. Well, must the arrow is not pointed to the wish box in New York City, or Australia, or Paris. So it must be in the Himalaya Mountains. Let's read and find out. Yes, Annie's wish box landed in the Himalaya Mountains in Nepal. A Annie, Annie's wish box isn't on just any mountain in Nepal, exclaimed June. It's on Mount, it's it's on top of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Uh oh, joked Quincy. I know tis the season to be jolly, but I'm afraid this merry mission is turning into a mission. Impossible! Come on, Leo. Um, I mean, come on, Quincy. Where's your Christmas spirit? Asked Leo. Nothing's impossible. We can do anything we set our minds to. I believe you, Big Brother. But I don't think those toy soldiers oh, share our, our team spirit. Spirit, said Annie, pointing to the line of toy soldiers. Blocking the road up the mountain. Qu 
Quincy had a great idea. He simply wished for a special instrument he could play to make the soldiers march out of the way. Which instrument do you think he wished for? Well, his instrument looks hard and, ha and uses two sticks. What do y'all think it is? Let's read and find out. Yes, Quincy wished for, for a drum. Use your hands to clap along to Quincy's holiday marching song. We're on a mission, pa -ra -pa -pa -pa. so please just listen, pa -ra -pa -pa -pa. show us the path that's best, pa -ra -pa -pa -pa. Uh, up to Mount Everest, pa -ra -pa -pa -pa. Ra -pa -pa -pa. Ra -pa -pa -pa. Then I'll play for you, pa -ra -pa -pa -pa, on my drum. <coughs> Thank you, Quincy, cried Annie. That was very brave. Oh, it was nothing, Quincy said, blushing. The team was ready to head up the mountain. <coughs> But first, they had to solve a puzzle. They needed to find seven items on the mountain, each beginning with, with a letter from the word holiday. Well, can you, can you help the, them find all seven? Let's find them. We need to find all, all the letters from the word holiday. There's one, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another, and another. <laughs> Great job! The other eight items pictured on the mountain all begin with the same letter. Can you name that letter? That, that's right, they all begin with the letter C. Oh, I'm... I'm not sure if I, if I got, actually got that right or not. Please tell me in the comments section below if I did or not. See ya. Rocket started back up Mount Everest, but found that candy canes were popping up everywhere. There wasn't enough room for Rocket to zoom around the candy canes. What could he do? Luckily, June had a plan. June used her wish box and wished for ballet boots. They're perfect for dancing in the snow. The boots would help her tap the, tap the candy canes back down into the snow, leaving a clear path for Rocket to get up the mountain. Good thinking, June. Using her super ballerina bounce, June need, needed to jump on top of each candy cane in order to push it down into the snow. Can you help her? How many times will she need to jump for all of the candy canes to disappear? Let's count. Let's look at the next page to find out. Yes, it took seven jumps to get all of the candy canes back down into the snow. Great job counting. Way to go, June! shouted Quincy. Ah, oh, June, you used your wish box. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, ah, oh, June, you used your wish to get me my wish, said Annie, hugging her. How generous! Well, Christmas is about giving to others, June beamed. So true, June, agreed Leo. And since I still have a wish to use, I'm going to give us all something we really need. Light! <clears throat> Leo wished for a star-shaped bulb to attach to the tip of his baton. The more I conduct, the brighter the light will glow, up, will glow to light up the sky, exclaimed Leo. Will you help Leo use his baton to conduct the starry night? In the, in the dark sky. Great! Wave your own baton in the air 
and with five quick strokes make the outline of a star. Hope you all did it because I'm turning the next page. L Leo is is painting stars in the sky, exclaimed Danny. W what a bright idea. How luminous, said June. I think I see 11 big stars. Can you count them? Let's count. Yep, 11 stars and one big moon, said Quincy. Leo, you really you know how to shine on these missions. <laughs> Very funny, Quincy. <laughs> Leo laughed. Now, now let's get, back, get to the top of Mount Everest and find Annie's wish box. At the very tip top of Mount Everest stood a big, angry looking mountain goat with Annie's wish box. He wasn't very happy to see visitors on his mountain, but Annie had an idea. Merry Christmas, Mr. Mountain Goat, chirped Annie, holding a spring of mistletoe over the goat's head and giving him a great big kiss on the cheek. <coughs> Mr. Mountain Goat was so touched by his sweet ge gesture that he gave Annie her wish box and walked down the mountain with a big smile on his face. Hooray, Annie! cheered Leo. You did it! Well, I couldn't have done it without all of you, Annie beamed. You all used your wishes just to help me get my wish box. Sorry, I thought I skipped the page. Anyway. Oh no! The box is empty, said Leo. Annie, your wish didn't come true. But Leo, my Christmas wish did come true, exclaimed Annie. I wish that I could be with all my friends on Christmas. And here you are. Annie, that's the best present anyone could wish for, said June. <laughs> no, that's what I call a very merry mission, <laughs> giggled Quincy. And, I, and now that's what I call a very merry book. And if you're watching this during the holidays, I ho hope ho ho hope you enjoy the holidays. So yeah, and as always, this video is completed!